Good morning, everybody from Durban in South Africa, and thank you very much for allowing me the chance to put across my final slides on the spirometry component of the Impala research project. So in the spirometry section, we've been able to develop a certificate of competence in foundational spirometry, a certificate of competence in pediatric foundational spirometry, a certificate of competence in spirometry data review and quality assurance processes, and then a certificate of attendance in pressure spirometry. We've been very successful in many ways. Um, funding for the course development, um, also allowing human resources, has given students access to updated course material prior to face-to-face -face training with very reliable communications between sites. We've used email, we've used WhatsApp. Um, we've had a skilled program manager in the program, and we've been able to identify loyal spirometry champions in each one of the regions and countries that we've been involved in in the Impala program, which has helped us to ensure that there's ongoing local support and there's ongoing post-training support and mentorship for people that have undertaken the spirometry programs. Some of the challenges that we faced has been funding for these new trained staff in the regions to travel. Limited language of the teaching materials. We did manage to translate some of the teaching materials into some of the, the local languages, French being one of them and Americ being the other. But we still need to develop further into Portuguese, um, and a couple of other lang local African languages to make the training really applicable to the people that are learning. There's been a little bit of a lack of availability of equipment to complete portfolios. The equipment that is available at the sites, both the hardware and the software, is outdated and makes it very difficult to learn and report on the spirometry the way we should be doing it according to the updated guidelines. And then, of course, in each of the regions, there's been quite a critically short supply of local technical support. So new recommendations that our research leads to, PATS, together with regional African thoracic societies, have made progress in training and education. We've done so well with what we've been given through Impala, and I really want to thank all the leads for the opportunity to do this. But we've still got a lot of work to do to meet the challenges that we face with spirometry in Africa. And some of these challenges that we've got is access to high quality spirometry in the countries, development of local country specific standardized um, training materials and quality assurance tools, um, developing appropriate reference standards to measure our patients blows against in each one of the regions, innovative approaches to addressing the challenges of access to equipment, um, consumables and technical support are key challenges as well. Um, the good thing is that the training and research collaborations have included the local African regional thoracic societies. At every opportunity that we were in country, we also tried to include health system leaders and um, PATS has been very instrumental in that but we need to develop this further. Thank you very much to the NIHR, um, to the UK aid from the UK government that supports this global research. And all the views expressed are my own and have nothing to do with the NIHR or the UK Department of Health and Social Care. Thank you very much to all the Impala leaders for this opportunity.